guys, we've got something really exciting for you today. I'm here with Stephanie and she's one of our teachers at TV for Education that looks after the curating of our content, specifically the YouTube content. So Steph, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I'm a teacher, graduated with a Bachelor of Education majoring in early years and have taught a variety of classrooms. Uh, I got given the position of team leader as well um, and uh, also working uh, with distance education. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about the uh, team leader role. What did you do there? Uh, well, with a team leader position, I was given uh, time to develop classroom content uh, with my team to develop engaging uh, lessons and also uh, encourage my team to work with uh, more technologies that's and awesome. bring those into the classroom. Yeah, that's what we like to hear. Now, you also mentioned distance education. So what did you do there? Give us a little bit of overall of that. Yeah, sure. Um, the head of distance education in the school I was in approached me uh, to help uh, him and a range of other teachers develop online classrooms uh, with a school in China. So we were uh, given time to talk to these students and develop our skills uh, with an online base. That's awesome. So I also heard on the grapevine that that role in that distance education that you mentioned before also took you around Australia and also saw you interact with a couple of companies like Parcel Workhouse Coopers. So give us a little bit of background on what happened there. Yeah, so we were sent around Australia to visit a range of schools and look at their online classrooms, uh, which was great. We also uh, went in to visit PwC um, and look at their teleconferencing and wow. how they work with overseas uh, businesses as well. That's awesome, awesome. All right, so that's a bit of a background on who you are, where you've come from. What are you doing now with TV for Education? So we all know as teachers, we hardly have enough time to prepare lessons, let alone find engaging content. So it's our role as TV for Education curators to find content from YouTube that links with the curriculum. We search through the ACARA website to find subject outcomes which need to be covered throughout teaching and match this with educational content found on YouTube. We are building a library to help you access specific educational videos for your classroom. Wow, so it sounds like you guys have been really busy at TV for Education and this has just been backed up by the fact that we have over 50,000 items, I think it is now, on our curated YouTube library. So if you haven't checked that out already, jump onto tvforeducation.com, have a look at the red library there. If you're a smart, sweet user, jump onto your, onto your TV for Education widget, click on the curated YouTube tab and have a look around at what Stephanie and her team have been doing. So one last question for you, Stephanie, before we close off today. Why did you move from a teaching classroom to TV for Education? Yeah, so resources are such a big thing in the classroom. And I know that as a teacher, it's hard to find time to find these resources and then use them in your classroom. So I thought that this was such a great idea to develop resources and help out colleagues that don't have that time or that ability to find those resources. So building a library like this is just going to help us uh, be so much more efficient in our teaching and develop a lot of uh, technologies back into the classroom. That's awesome. Well, thanks so much, Stephanie, for coming along for the video today. You're welcome. I hope you guys all enjoyed it as well. Stay tuned. There is going to be a lot more that's happening on our YouTube channel, a lot more that's happening with the company. Uh, if you haven't already, jump on and subscribe to our newsletters. Uh, follow us on YouTube, Facebook, on our Google Plus page. Uh, and we can't wait to talk to you.